Marvel, like most cats, spends a lot of her time licking herself. I wondered if she had a method in how she does it. I guess I don't think of her as very smart, so I thought that she just started with whatever body part she saw first, and then she'd move down the line. If she got distracted in the middle, whatever body part she saw when she comes back to her session is what she would resume with. I did some background research and I cited some articles in the description below. These articles inform the rest of my video. So turns out cats don't just randomly lick themselves. Cats and other furry mammals lick themselves in a cephalocaudal pattern. This means that they go from head to toe. They start with their front paws to clean their face and then they should clean their butt last. This made sense to me because cleaning your butt means that you don't spread that across the rest of your body. I guess nature knows a little bit about surgery scrubbing technique. Now I wanted to know if Marvel adheres to these rules. There was only one way to find out. You might think that we could just use that security camera again, but we run into a problem. Marvel licks herself in a lot of different locations, and I could buy a bunch of security cameras. I don't really want to spend that kind of money before I'm monetized. I decided I was just going to use my phone and put it in front of Marvel whenever I saw her grooming. But we ran into another problem. When I tried to stop her, it slowly became a game. Not a toy. I don't blame her. The whole camera setup does look like a toy. I tried slowly moving the camera towards her, but I only got a couple good sessions with this method. I needed to be sneakier, so I'd face away from her while I had the camera pointed at her. I also had to keep an eye on her to make sure I didn't miss any licking sessions. Oh my god, she's licking herself! I spent the last week recording all of Marvel's licking session. I counted anything above 30 seconds as a session. We have some high quality footage and we have some more stealthy footage. The lighting isn't always great and I couldn't get as close. Marvel would get pretty self-conscious if I started watching her. I want to be clear that this is not rigorous research at all. First of all, this is one cat. My observation of her changed her behavior. I did not catch every session. I'm not always home and I also go to sleep. There's a million other confounding variables, but oh well, this is YouTube. So this is what I found. Before we get into the data, I wanted to share some highlights. I noticed that she also licks her toys to kind of give them a grooming session. She's also very easily distracted by toys. She makes this really loud noise when she inhales a bunch of fur. Do any of your cats do this? It's pretty annoying at night when she does it right next to my head. She also has a need to lick something right away if it's been touched. This happens a lot right after clicker training when we've done gimme paw and we've given her head scratches. And there were many times where she'd just give herself a few licks before taking a nap. On to the data. We have 13 sessions. I did find that just noting the starting and the ending was enough because Marvel does go down her body in order. She does start with her front paw more often, seven out of the 13 times. What she ends with is a little bit less obvious. Here, she starts with her front paws and ends with her front paws, but spends 214 seconds doing that. I counted interruptions, not just if she would look up, which she does anytime someone walks by or makes a noise, they only counted if they were a little longer and it caused her to start in a different part of her body. The reason for stopping does seem to be sleep when the session is a little longer, while the shorter sessions are usually cut off by a distraction. And when I say me, that could be me or someone else in the house. Getting a long licking session in and going to sleep does seem to be when she does her cephalocaudal pattern. So we have an average duration of 244 seconds across this week. In the end, it does seem like Marvel follows the cephalocaudal pattern, but not exclusively. She gets distracted very easily, which causes her to not follow that pattern. This has shown me that I should treat her licking sessions similar to when she's sleeping and try not to interrupt her. As grooming is a soothing behavior, a lot of interruptions could cause undue stress. If you'd like to watch a compilation of a bunch of her licking sessions, you can check it out here. I hope you learned something today. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe and let us know what else you'd like to learn about Marvel.